Good evening, family. God bless you. God bless you. We are blessed. Are you blessed? Good evening. Uh, we are blessed. Sister Shayna, I think that's the name. God bless you. Okay, thank you so much for all you do for the ministry. Good evening. God bless you. We had such a powerful time this morning, you know. Um, and after we came up the school, had all of these, uh, seen all this stuff happening. Is it San Bern Bernardino? I think there was a shooting over there. Listen, folk, this is why we pray. You know, this is the reason why we pray. One of the reasons why we pray. That's why, listen. Remember what I said this morning. Remember what I said. I said, listen, you want to kill yourself? Go ahead and do it. You know, but don't, don't, don't try to take people who don't want to die. You see what I'm saying? They don't, they don't want to die. They don't want to die. You know, and, and then, you know, you go cause that chaos. Do you understand? Wanna blow yourself up because you believe in some some religion or whatever you're being taught. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. But please don't don't try and take somebody else with you who don't believe what you believe. Okay, that's why I'm always encouraging you when we come to pray. Okay, open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and talk to him. Let him know your request. Join in with the prayer when we come together. Okay, don't be a spectator. Join in with prayer. Okay, it's, it's important. It's very, very, very important. Yes, I saw your email. We'll get back to you, okay? In Jesus' name. Let's pray, okay? Let's pray. That's, that's what we do. I keep saying to you, you know, it looks like praying ain't popular no more. You know, because um, it's hard work. You know, it's hard work. <clears throat> so people don't want to pray. Want the easy way out. You know, what somebody to always tell them what the Lord is saying. But we still believe in the power of prayer. We still believe in the power of prayer. Let's bow our heads and commit lives into the hands of Jehovah. Let's thank him that he kept us. Since morning, he's kept us and he's still keeping us. Let's pray. Father, we bless your name. Holy one of Israel, Lamb of God, you are exalted. You are exalted in our lives, God. We thank you for tonight. We thank you that you've kept us alive. You've kept us pure. You've sanctified us. You've washed us. You have cleansed us. You have made us who we are today. We are blessed because of you. We know our way, Father God, uh, because of you. We are grateful. We are thankful. Father, fill us with your spirit. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your glory. Let us know who you are. In the name of Jesus. Save us, Father God. Cover those who are sick. Cover those that, Father God, are not feeling well in body. Cover them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their steps be ordered by you. Heal them. Touch their bodies, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Do it for them because you can. Do it for them because it has already been done on Calvary. Do it for them because your name is great and your name is awesome. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. Father, we won't call on anybody else but you. Father, we don't serve anybody else but you. And so, Father, we thank you for what you've done and for what you're doing. Fill us, God. Lead us and guide us every day. 
In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God, you are worthy, God. You are worthy to deserve all the glory and the honor. All power belongs to you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we appreciate you. Jesus, we adore you. You are the God of all flesh. Your name is great and your name is magnificent. Your name is great and your name is magnificent. We thank you, God. We bless your most holy name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Let the blood speak. Let the blood cover every young girl, every young boy. In the schooling system, Father God, we pray that the blood will speak, the blood will cover, and the blood will protect. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, cover the schools, cover the workplaces, cover your homes, cover the postal system, cover the postal system in the name of Jesus. There won't be any attacks. It won't work. It won't stand. It won't work, it won't stand, it won't prevail. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare it. And we say that it is so. In the mighty name of Jesus, we love him because he first loved us. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we love him because he first loved us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. God bless you, okay? God favor you. In the name of Jesus, prayer works. Prayer works. Don't let anybody, anybody discourage you, okay? And listen to me, like I've been saying, you know, we've got so much happening in this world now, Brother Keith. Thank you so much. You know what? Uh, we haven't got time to be distracted. We haven't got time to be distracted, okay? We haven't got time, okay? We know what God is doing in our lives. We've seen how far God has, has brought us. You see what I'm saying? Yes. We've seen how far God has brought us. And we know where he's taking us. Okay? This is a time when, you know, you can't just take your safety for granted. Do you understand? Somebody, somebody, somebody is being indoctrinated. Do you see what I'm saying? And and they're not just being indoctrinated for them to say, okay, you know what? It's just me. You know, they, they want to take people out. And you've got to make sure that you are blood washed. Okay? That you are blood washed. I told you this, I think, a few days ago. As soon as Iran, Syria, you know, Putin declared that, you know, what happened when, you know, the, 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 the United States Army, you know, uh, bombed Syria, it was an act of war and it was a declaration of war. Immediately, spiritually, that released, that opened up the doors for demons, okay, to be unleashed. So what you're seeing happening in the schools and the more that's going to happen, listen to me, it is not, you know, it, it, it is no coincidence. Okay, it's because I told you, that's what the Bible says, decree a thing, my God, and it shall be established. Decree a thing and it shall be established. Those leaders have decreed. And if you are a believer and you think you can just sit there, listen, if you think you can just sit there and shout and scream and do what you normally do in church, you're going to be very miserable in 2017. You hear me? Because listen to me. When the declaration was made that death is going to pass through Egypt at this specific time, if there is no blood on your door, death will visit you. Listen to me. It didn't matter that you were part of the children of Israel. If you did not, if you did not mark your door with the blood of Jesus, with the blood, death visited you. And so listen, the declaration, I keep saying this to you, the declaration is the one that has been made by Putin. 
That's what I say the Bible says, see, God knows why he gave us this way. See, we've been praying for about two years straight now. Clap your hand, stomp your feet, and declare. Before Putin was going to declare war, watch this now. We have been praying for two years straight, making declarations. So listen to me. We're not praying after the declaration has been made. Just the one. We, we've been praying before. That's what I keep saying to you. Don't look at Sister Cheryl. Don't look at what's in your pocket before you start prophesying and making declarations. You miss it. Make the declaration. God knew. Saints, don't, don't, you, don't, don't, you, don't you love God? God knew that this day was going to come. Check your news. Putin said, listen, it's an act of war. Prepare for war. God knew. So God said, prayer man, to listen to me. It's only going to be a few bunch of you. But I want you to hide in this corner. Support this young black boy. He's going to be praying with you for two years. So that when this death assignment is released, your house is covered. Listen to me. I Listen, I'm not in no popularity contest. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm praying to God every day that I please him. It's the tower. I'm praying to God that I please him. Listen to me. Two or three years ago when we started prayer mantle. Think about two years now, right? Listen to me. God saw 2017. He said, there's going to be a time rising. You're going to have Trump in power. You're going to have Putin in Russia. You're going to have Iran's leader. You're going to have serious leader you're going to have north korea and every single one of these men won't want to back down you see what i'm saying when you put these men in a room trust me all that's going to come out of that room is war because not one of them will take the low road every single one of them brother key every single one of them you see what i'm saying they, they won't back down they will stick to what they believe. And so, and so that is a recipe for war. And God said, I'm going to speak to this young boy in London. I'm going to get him to teach my people how to pray. So all I'm going to tell him to do, teach my people how to pray. Teach my people how to make declarations. And so listen to me. That's why I keep saying to you, don't be distracted. Don't allow nobody to push you off your prayers. Because listen to me, it is praying that is keeping us. Don't, don't, don't be like, you know, people jumping from this one to this one, from this prophet to this prophet to go and get a word. You don't need a word. What you need in this season is your preservation. Listen to me, I don't know why it's become so popular. People, ju listen, jumping from this one to this one for a word. When listen to me, the time frame between Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, the last prophetic word, okay, and the beginning of the Gospels, theologians will tell you that there is a period of 400 years, which is known as the 400 silent years, which simply means that they believe that this, during the season, or during this time, 400 years, God wasn't speaking. Okay? When it says God wasn't speaking, it means that, you know, there was no prophet. You know, God had ceased. The prophetic word had been given from, you know, Genesis to the, you know, to the minor prophets, to the major prophets, to the end of Malachi. That was, he was the last prophet of the Old Testament. Before John the Baptist will come. Listen to me. During that period, what the people did was they put their knees to the grounds and they cried unto God. Today we have flimsy believers jumping from A to B to get a word. When the word is already in your mouth. When the word is already in your belly. When the word is in printed form in front of you. What are you running to? You need to exercise your authority. You need to exercise the power. Make declarations. Because you don't know what God is telling you until you pay attention and give him your ear. God has had us pray for two years, 2015. 
2017, God knew some, some, some crazy stuff was going to happen. We're going to have leaders who will budge. They're going to make declaration. This one is going to say, it's war. It's war. It's war. It's war. It is war. Prayer man to listen to me. You know me. I fear God. I seldomly will say, and the Lord said, and the Lord told me to tell you. You should know me by now. But I can stand boldly to let you know that you cannot miss a call to prayer 2017. Trust me, you can't miss it. And every single person who supports Prayer Mantle, okay, this month of April, May and June, please help me to raise a good budget. Okay, you, you, you did it last year. When it comes to your giving, okay, please help me, okay, support me so we can raise a good budget to cover our cost for this conference, okay. Let's do it. We did it last year and we can do it again. Listen to me, saints. I'm not playing with my life and I don't want you to play with your life. Whether you like it, yes or no, you didn't choose to be in this season and in this year. God chose you before the foundation of the universe. So you are here. So you need to pray and cover yourselves and your loved ones otherwise when you turn on cnn when you turn on msnbc when you turn on fox news you're going to see breaking news and you're going to see familiar pictures and familiar surroundings on cnn are you hearing me so you need to be prayerful in jesus name bow your heads with me Bow your heads with me. Father, your grace is sufficient for us. Your power is everlasting. Your name is glorious. Remember your children. Remember us. Cover each and every one of us. Cover everyone connected to us. Keep us. Guide us. Lead us. Spread your wings of protection. In conjunction with the blood of Jesus. Keep us alive. Keep us safe. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Tonight was quick. Okay? In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. It is well. Okay, it is well, it is well, it is well, okay, it is well, okay, everybody just, you know, like I've said before, help us so that when it comes to the cost of the conference, we don't have to, uh, you know, have any debts, okay, so I'll just put it out there as we always do prayer mantle, okay, as we always do in prayer mantle, just you know, pray about it. Let the Lord lead you. Help me. Last year we raised, I think we, we had about $20,000, you know, that we raised, okay? This year, we're not, we're not having to do no big adverts, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, we have about, I checked today, we have about 315 people registered. It's going to be in Charlotte. Okay? That's, that's, that's good. That's a testimony on its own. Okay? Okay? That's a testimony on its own. That's a testimony on its own. Okay? So, so please. Okay, it's going to be in Charlotte. Go to the website, email for the information. Go and register. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for the registration, okay? But help me to offset any cost. Okay? Please, okay? As you always do, prayer mantle. We're a big family. We're transparent. Okay? I'll let you know where the monies are going to go. Okay, the areas that we need to cover. Okay, thank you so much. We do an incredible job on Prayer Mantle. We've got an incredible team, you know, behind the scenes who help with this ministry. 
okay in jesus mighty name god is good we bless the name of the lord thank you holy ghost for giving us peace for giving us peace god bless you from russia for giving us peace in jesus name in jesus name someone was emailing about you know i don't i don't know what you're talking about some lady that i don't know if you're serious email me okay because i couldn't understand what you're saying email me okay email me what the problem is or whatever it is you hear me email me okay in jesus name thank you holy ghost in the name of Jesus. Prayer mantle, you know how we do things. You know how this ministry has grown and we're still growing. Okay? And we're still growing. And we're going to get better. We're going to be, you know, uh, a family who prays. Okay? Going to grow this family in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God keep you. Okay? We've got this month. We've got next month. And then we've got, you know, June. Okay? Got about three months. Okay? Make up in your mind, in your spirit, what you're going to do to support the conference. Okay? Those of you who are going to be there, you will see the difference. I'm more interested in you. I don't want you to sit down and watch a show. Okay, I want you to be a partaker. You're going to come, you're going to learn some strategies that you need to use. You're hearing me? In your daily life, in your prayer lives. Okay, because of, because of the system of the seasons that we're getting ready to walk in and to go into. You hear me? In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. And we'll always be pleasing to me. I have made a commitment to you. Okay, only time the commitment doesn't work is when you disconnect. I have made a commitment to you that I'm going to be praying with you 7 a.m., 7 p.m. until Jesus comes. Okay, the only time that we stop praying is when Jesus comes and takes us away. And then we carry on in heaven. Okay? But other than that, the only way that this chain will be broken is when you disconnect from me. You know? If you, dis if you disconnect from me, I can't fight you. You know? Some people will say, you know, the Lord has taken them in another direction. That's fine. I can't fight the Lord. You see what I'm saying? I can't fight the Lord. But those of you that have been connected to this ministry for the last two, you know, two years... Thank you so much, you know, for being with me. Thank you so much for supporting this ministry. Thank you so much for being part of what God is doing. Thank you so much for helping keep this ministry authentic. You know, um, we've gone through a lot of shakings, but we're still standing. You know, people came to take advantage, try to, try to destroy, but God has kept us. Isn't God wonderful? I said, isn't God wonderful? Don't we serve an awesome God? Don't we serve an almighty God? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know that Christ is real. You have no idea. I said thank you so much for letting me know that Christ is real. You know, let me teach you something. When, when you've seen some of the stuff that we've seen, you know, I was, I was talking to a friend of mine. When you see some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, you know, the things that are question marks, you know, the behavior of certain type of people in the pulpit, you know, and you see how things are not what they claim to be, you know, put God's name on stuff that you know has got nothing to do with God and you have to keep quiet, but your spirit is troubled. Let me tell you something, saints, you really have to be very mindful and very mindful. Listen, you know, I was talking to, you know, I had a conversation a couple of months ago, you know, somebody who was talking really bad about me, you know, and I, and I happened to hear the conversation because, you know, the person was speaking to somebody else that I knew and, and, and the person that I knew had recorded the message 
for me to hear. So this was in hearsay. I heard the person going hard on me and they didn't even know me. You know, I had to laugh. I said, wow. Well, guess what? Just a few days ago, this person who was talking, they called me confessing. Confessing on the phone. And I said, listen, I know that because of the way I am, it's the one that because, you know, I don't behave a certain way. See, I tell you the truth. I've had people call me and say, man of God, what's the Lord saying? How much should I sow into your ministry? I said, uh-uh. I said, you, you, you make up in your mind what you want to do. Let the Lord lead you. I ain't going to tell you what you should do. It's your money. I said, uh-uh. And they were, God, they, they were surprised. I'm like, uh-uh. I said, I don't do that. Only thing I'll tell you is what the Lord has given us, the instructions, is that when you give, just make sure there's a serving in there somewhere. That's all, that's all I'm going to tell you. But I will never, because God hasn't given me that assignment. Isn't it amazing? You know, sometimes it is said, you know, there's the statistics to back it up. You know, sometimes people love going back to abusive situations and abusive relationships. You try, you try to get them out of it. And, 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 you know, they, they'll, they'll run back to those people that abuse them. Don't you find that amazing? Like, wow. And there's people in the body of Christ, Sister Cheryl, Sister Janelle, you know, who run back to preachers who abuse them and rape them. Emotionally, psychologically, financially. The preachers who rape them, lie to them, tell them what God hasn't said. They don't, they don't want to hear the truth. They like to be bound. I'm serious. I deal with this every day. Sometimes my phone rings. I'm like, I don't want to pick up my phone. Because when I was trying to tell you not to do it, you didn't listen to me. Now that you went and it's gotten bad, you're trying to take up my time. Trying to take my, you're trying to take up my time. You, ne you know, you never supported this ministry. Now that things have gotten bad for you, you're calling me at every given opportunity. He said to me, it's time for you to use common sense. Things that you wouldn't let, you know, it wouldn't go past you in the world. You get saved and you allow people to just do it to you. Every now and again, I like to talk to my prayer mantle family. Okay? Things that, you know, people couldn't do to you when you was in the world. You get saved and because somebody has a title that starts with the P, prophet. So you allow them to misuse you, to abuse you, to take advantage of you because they have a title. You can't do that no more. You can't do that no more. Okay? They're not of God. Are you hearing me? They're not of God. So you cannot afford to let People take advantage of you. Read your word. You know that song that we used to sing in, 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 in Sunday school? Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, if you want to grow. You know the most important word in that song is if. Read your Bible every day, if you want to grow. If you want to grow, then do that. Nobody can abuse you. Isn't it amazing? When you know the rules and the laws and the law enforcement try to stop you or intimidate you, you're not scared because you will tell them, the law says this. This is what the law, I know my rights. When you know what the Bible is saying, nobody can intimidate you. Okay, so prayer mantle, you've been with me for two years. We're family. If I need something, I come and I talk to you and I put it on the table and I say, family, this is what the Lord is saying. Listen to me. I'm not going to come and tell you, give me $10,000 for the conference, you know, call to prayer. Give me 15000 Give me 1000 because no, let God speak to you. Okay. We did it last year. We had a magnificent conference in Ghana. We're going to do it in Charlotte this year. Help me raise the budget and let's do it. Okay, we're family, we talk, we're open, we're transparent. You know, you remember the lady that I was telling you that her accommodation in Orlando, you know, you know, uh, there's a lady on, on, on prayer mantle. Between myself, her, you know, between myself and her, 
we've managed to help the lady to get a new place. You see what I'm saying? We, you know, we've managed to do that. We put, we put our monies together to help her pay her deposit so she can get a place to move with her children. This is what kingdom is about. Yes, the Jamin, we've done it. Do you understand? This is what kingdom is about. You see? So, you know, when I have a say, hey, family, we're having a call to prayer. You know, I ain't got no money yet. Sister Cheryl, I ain't got no money yet. But I believe God that we're going to have an awesome time in his, in, in, in his name. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We just don't pray. You know, we, 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 you know, we act. We act. Okay? So everybody just, you know, just pray about it. You know, for a couple of weeks, uh, you know, uh, you know, and the next month, let's come together, raise a good budget so we can, we can have a good time in the Lord, okay? Let the Lord lead you as always. You know, prayer man, to we're blessed. I know I'm dealing with people of God, people who love God, who have a pure heart, okay? I was the first one, I think I put on a thousand for the conference. So, you know, we're starting off with a thousand. So help me, okay? Help me raise a good budget in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Let me get out of the way. Father, we thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for us and all that you're doing in our lives. We bless your name. May your name be established in our lives and in our hearts. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, okay? It is well. Go have a blessed evening, okay? Keep, you know, the, 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 I told you about I told you about what happened, okay, uh, with the farming project, you know, uh, we, we, we know God is truly moving. There's some more information that I'm going to share with you, okay? Got more information. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus' name. Have a blessed evening. Have a blessed afternoon. I'll see you in the morning, 7 a.m. EST, okay? I'll see you in the morning. God bless you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later.